I'm Rashida Price with On Cue Makeup, and I am here with the talented Coco Styles. Hi, and, and I am Danisia with Making It Dirty with Danisia. And we're here to hip y'all to our new kind of session, kind of segment that we're doing. We call it the, the Ladies Love the Glam. Which is something you can catch on our Instagram Live or on our YouTube page. But we all have them listed below. But uh, this is just pretty much an informal yeah. shop talk. Ladies things, what you talk about in your salon? What you talk about in the shop? Yeah. Ladies, you know, you also, go to the shop. Also, while we make discussion. over a beautiful hey, y'all. This is up. what it's going to be. So catch <laughs> us on YouTube, like I said before, and we're going to leave the oh, names below. Did you exactly so, mean? We hope you guys enjoy this. Comment, we'll later. subscribe, follow us. Yes, no, definitely. Bye, y'all. Tell them bye. It's over with. Fuck it. Look. Hi, y'all. So what's up y'all? Now on Ladies Love Glam, we're about to start off with Christina's on our beautiful model today that we call E. How you doing E? Hey. <laughs> She's gonna do a date night look on E. I've already started and set up E hair for her date night fob and everything. And our beautiful bartender, making it dirty with Danisa. Hello. Is gonna do us a gorgeous, great tasting date night drink. So tonight, our drink will be named date night of course and we're gonna start off with some makers okay so we're gonna put one and a half ounce of makers girl you know I like okay. makers y'all and that's a nice little drink for a man <laughs> a half an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice we're gonna put a little sip of syrup in here just to give it a little sweeter taste so that lemon can be can you show us your brand of simple serve that I need to? It's the Pat O'Brien brand that I use for the simple serve and this is the making and she, mark. Yeah. So I already have filled my shaker up with uh, ice. And we're just gonna shake this up really good. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to drain it on the ice that's already in the glass. Look how pretty. Now I'm gonna get bartender on it, y'all guys. So I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna take my wine, which is barefoot, and it's a sweet red blend. You which can is get a different cover. Yeah, it's a different, <laughs> different, a different uh, type of red wine. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna take the spoon. We'll have to do this, but we're gonna take the spoon and we're just gonna roll the red wine off the back of the spoon. girl just so you can get that good settle and we're going to garnish it with a lemon peel and there you have it date night get you ready date night i'm ready to taste it Ain't here you go darling miss e oh girl thank you girl you're welcome <laughs> thank you girl well how do you get hers first we keep it because grown. She's, getting, <laughs> she's getting ready for her date night because you get ready to drink okay <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make so let's see. While Danisa will make me one, let's check in on On Cue Makeup, doing what she do best, lacing faces. <laughs> How you doing, On Cue? I'm doing great. Now, what you Excited doing for to be here. <laughs> well, I'm Excuse doing me. like, um, as I would call it, more of a man, boyfriend friendly makeup because we already know how the men feel about makeup when you're doing a little bit too much. So we're not gonna give her anything too dramatic and extreme, which us ladies, you know, would like sometimes, you know, with the glitter and all that. So I'm just gonna do something natural with a popping red lip, something to give her more of a edgy look with her nice, edgy Coco Styles vibe or whatever. So right now I'm just doing my concealer brows and I'm gonna start with the eyes and then I'm gonna go into the face. But like I said, we're definitely gonna keep it natural, but yes, it's definitely going to pop so you guys will see and this is something too that you can do at home yourself you don't necessarily have to professionally get it done she's just a little extra fancy so that's why she's here. <laughs> just getting laced baby so in the meantime <laughs> ladies we all know now that the world is full of single women who are dating yeah. gratefully out here in these streets <laughs> so for a simple look to just impress somebody or a good night to start it off with. That's why we decided to do a date night look, a date night drink. And what I call is a sexy look. And for me, my personal preference, I think men love 
women necks. I think the neckline is the sexiest part of a woman's body. And when you top it off with a nice short bob, it just gives it life when you step out the door, when you're coming down those stairs, ready for him to open your door, because yes. How many of y'all think that he's supposed to open your door? You better open the door, because my hands don't touch But uh, is it dead? Tell me a chivalry dead. It's dead. It's no, so it's, dead. No, it's I mean, really no, not. it's not supposed to be dead, but it is dead. No, it's dead because that's what we continue to say that it's Settle dead. For. And that's what we settle for. But for me, like the dates I go on, and it's sometimes it's younger guys who you wouldn't think that would know any better. But they automatically know, oh, let me open the door for her. But I believe that it's all about how you carry yourself and how you present yourself, too. Right. Ooh, you look set at the girl. standard. Yeah, separation. Yeah. You set oh, the standard. So Isn't that beautiful? That's that's very getting, true. It's like sexy. Like, girl, I got my robe on. Put my and you get on. ready, you know, you have your vanity. I know most women, y'all have your vanity or your full mirror where you can sit it down and sip it every time you go pass by. I'm getting ready, I'm pass by, pick up my glasses. Yeah, a sip. Let's sip. If you know me, Let's keep going. Yeah, she I'm on my gobble second gobble. one already. <laughs> she will gobble it down already. But like I said, ladies, so tell me, Christina and Danisa, who are my friends who are living the single life. It, what do you it, think? It, 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 it was dead, but now, like she said, when you know your worth, as women, we have to know our worth for somebody else to even worthy of you. You know what I'm saying? To even give you that much respect. So if I demand, like, I ain't gonna say demand, but if that's my status that I want you to open my door, then yes, I will go. I know my friend here. She will stand there at your car door and wouldn't get in until no, you open her door. She stands there. <laughs> Christina stands there at the door for us. <laughs> Why well, you gonna open the I door? For... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what I'm saying is, oh, okay, so on your first day, E, because you are a nice, what, um, class at Southern. You're in school at Southern, right? I'm so you're, you're dating in a younger, the younger time. So tell me, on the first day, do he pick you up? First of all, let me ask this. Course? Do they ask you on a date? When you meet guys, are they offering to take you on dates? Or are they offering you to come to their house and Netflix and chill? It that's, depends, that's the question. It depends on how you carry yourself as a woman. Hmm. You so, know, some, like, guys can pick that up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a vibe that's felt. Yeah. So, give us an example of... It, it, also, ladies, we're doing this in the middle of shop time. So, we also have some stylists that's working in the back. So, you might hear other women chime in from time to time because this ladies talk because ladies love the glam and they love to be in getting glam and discuss things how many of y'all discuss things in shop and number one thing is about being single so e when they're asking you on dates how many times do you get asked do you want to come chill at my house i don't really get asked that often it's usually girl my eyelid feels so good <laughs> hold on the makeup okay. can be very relaxing. It is. It's therapeutic. <laughs> With your drink. Day night. <laughs> <All right>. So <laughs> so it's usually when people ask me, they ask me on a date. And if I do get asked to just chill, then I'm not going to really take that serious. I'm not going to take that into consideration because I know they just want to do one thing. But again, that goes with how you carry yourself as a woman. Like so men know. You saying who to carry ask. yourself as a woman. Can any one of y'all give me an example of I'm how to up. like you know, what is my way of carrying myself when some a man approaches me and you know, and you talk on the phone with him for the first time and y'all trying to either eat, arrange some type of day, whether it's Netflix or chill or you know, how am I supposed to handle myself where he know you have to ask me on a date day? I feel like it's just how you're raised, you know. It's you're just, raised like that. It's just a natural confidence, I guess, how you carry yourself. Yes. I mean, he knows that you're not a trifling, you know, woman. You right. got yourself well kept, your hair done, whatever. Like, you're up, you're upkeep as well. That's one thing. And then just how you talk to him and how you, you talk. Like, if you, and they pay attention to everything. Like, if you picking up your phone and your girlfriend calling and you like, bitch, and all yes. that extra stuff, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, let me let you kill her. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's about all of it. Like, how you carry yourself, how you talk, how you interacting with other things. Some of the comments that you make on that first conversation on the phone. Like, they really right, pay attention more than you think. People pick, like, dudes pick that up quick. By the first conversation, they picked that up quick. Pick up what? Like, what kind of woman you are? Yeah. But, but they watch some Netflix and chill on the first date. 
Mm-hmm. Some okay. do that. Hold on. But I'm Netflix and chill. Well, Netflix and chill and get married. I next get from Netflix and well, family right, guy. Right. I mean, you just <laughs> never know. But I it mean, if you're trying to set a certain standard about, about yourself. yourself, you know, it's bigger than, oh, if he going to marry me, if I go on this, nip, you know, like it's bigger than that. It's really all about how you carry yourself and the confidence that you have and the same that you, same that you set for So yourself. tell me, is a um, first date at somebody's house a first date? Would you turn it down? Is that a yes or a no? It depends on what they're doing. Uh, yeah. 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 If they're setting it up like that, that's right. Thing, you know, if right. they're setting it up like that. But it has to be it's on my time. It's not going to be like, oh, well, I ain't doing nothing at the house. Come over and chill. Right. Like, yeah. you know. No. It depends on how. How it's set up. So if you're cooking, I'm going to cook something. Or yeah, now one time I was dating a deacon. Is that considered a first date? Yeah. 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 He, was an old man. Man. he was a deacon. And, and he's an old girl. man. And he was just like, you know, come over, I'll cook dinner for you, and I'll have some things ready. Like, it was really nice and special, so I felt more comfortable because, first of all, he's an old man. You know, he's a respectable man. He's a deacon. So I was like, all right, cool. So he had the chocolate colored strawberries and, you know, nice mm-hmm. dinner and wine. Yeah. So it was a nice experience. But you have to decide, too. You have to have a certain, you know, discernment to know. Or if I could go by this man's house. Who guys? Well, Y'all have to really try this at home. This is so, so good. good. It's really good. If you want it to taste like what this tastes like, use exactly these products. And, it's and so also, good. you could catch Danisa putting the ingredients and everything and having this on her page, making it dirty with Danisa on Instagram, yes, which she out. will be doing drinks and everything also come by check us out at coco styles hair studio on fridays where we have happy hour fridays where you can get curl recurls for twenty dollars come by have your drink sit and chill and talk yeah and let me tell you like it gets a little real in here on fridays <laughs> everybody is well, a hard like worker for money through friday we deal with our children so yeah. you know you come to the beauty shop it's it's, it's a you relaxation relax. thing. You ready? You get you ready. ready to relax. Yeah. And that's so. why we were talking about this. That's why I was saying, oh, let's do a video on Q. Something was good for a date night. Like, and also, you don't have to, like, you know, on Q has her YouTube that she's also a chum. What's your YouTube on Q? On Q Makeup. O N C U E Makeup. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where you can get all the latest <laughs> quick look for you ladies that. Not as much, um, could afford to go to a makeup artist all the time. Like, you might want to look cute for this guy who you've been watching. He's been coming in the bank. You work there. I actually have like a that. video specifically for a date night. She yeah. taught me so how to one step. Yeah. Because, you know, Baby. she's always on the go. She's never here. So, <laughs> we had to learn how to one two. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Shay. 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 on the camera. And everybody think, yeah, that's my friend. But she's never here. So, I'm telling y'all. And I had to learn how to one-two myself. But she's here now, so you can also make appointments with On Q Makeup. Visit her at Coco Styles Hair Studio. We we up in here, y'all. But so, also, like I said, I did a bob on E. Because I felt like that was some sexy. But if you notice, E also has a closure. Now, later when Christina finishes her makeup, you would see me just add a little bump to it and everything like that. But, ladies, closures are lifesavers. Closures and wigs. And wigs. Now, what I did on E today was something quick. It's a quick weave with a lace closure. So it's also a protective style that's not, that I say, get all the time. It's a, a temporary style, which you still need to let your hair breathe in between. But it will last like a month. She doesn't have to worry about her leave out because E's natural or anything. So when she's on a date and he say, well, let me take you over to this little spot and it's a little warm in here. You ain't got to worry about this. You got a little afro on your leave out. You know what I'm saying? And be like, damn, let me go to the bathroom for a time. I going to tell you, oh, wait, baby, I, I see your little, your <laughs> <laughs> And I want to make it. That actually like, happened to me before. And, 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 and we sometimes think me. men don't pay attention oh, they to that. Oh, they do. I need my man to tell me. Yeah. He's going to have to tell you me. everything. Then you're going to be mad on the day when the nigga say, why your clothes are sitting back like that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that coming up under from up what? under that clothes? Okay. What is that? Baby. No, now if y'all know me, y'all know I wear wigs a lot. Because I ain't got out of Tampa hair to be there. And I want to also <laughs> shout out a new person to Coco Style Studio. Oh, yeah. Crystal versus Shay. And her Instagram is Crown by Shay. She's also on my girl, Danisa Braids, yeah, baby. She, she and she's up in here now twisting it up. We just can't put her on camera right now. She's over there twisting it up. <laughs> but. Love you, Crystal. Love you. On another note, ladies. When you go on a date, right? 
this is something I want to ask. Do you think a man judge you off of what you come out the house on? Hmm. Your outfit. So, I want him. Yeah, to, when you I too, step out for a day, I want him no, to say. No, but do, are you, no, do you go real classy, sexy, real sexy? Or do you go... I feel no, like boys look at that too. a little bit in between because at the same time, you don't want to give the wrong impression because when he's trying to put his hands in your... Under your dress or whatever, then oh, you're gonna feel some kind of way. But he like, well, hey, you came out here. That's how you came out here. Like, but, 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 but that shit don't make it a reason. But then not just business. that. You don't know what type of restaurant he's bringing you to. I mean, you could be going to a really, really nice restaurant. So do you and, ask like, like, where are we going? No, we you dress for presentable, like respectable. Right, right, right. I mean, you can ask them, like, you know, well, where are you going? And he may say, well, I'm just taking to you, taking you to a nice dinner or something. So, you know, I'm going to wear something appropriate. So I can't wear a tight, nice dress. Fitted dress. I mean, you can wear a fitted dress with something that... You're trying to say I have to, have to put a shawl or something, like a neck. I love spandex. I'm not saying that, but just something to wear. If you go into a nice restaurant, you don't have all the people looking at you like, oh, what does she got on? And him feeling embarrassed. I know I love spandex. So, I went more to come out... I wouldn't want to come out. What? I wouldn't want to come well, out. You can stop. You can say it and stop. What? Oh, I was going to talk about the restaurant. So, what should she order? Oh, What's like so. something you should order? Should you order filet mignon? Oh, 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 oh that's okay. Okay, I'm sorry. We still no, running. No, that's no, our, no. That's our friend with the creative for in the background. Yeah, that's our creative director. Man, we in this. She's not on the camera. Now that's a good question. She asks, "What should you order?" And see, my homeboys. They'll be like, man, you know, she won't. I took her here and she. No, you don't never order steak. <laughs> they just stick with it. She know that. How no, do you know? No, that no, 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 no. I don't like order steak. No, really. not that. You can order steak and order what you want on the menu, but they'll be like, you know, she ordering bottles and she got like a big bottle of wine, you know, stuff like that. But my spend. thing with that is, I tell to the guys, my homeboys, I'm like, well, if you take her to this restaurant or whatever like that. It's free game, you know what I'm saying? Because you brought her here and told her all of what she want. Now, some women go too far and be like, oh, well, I'm going to get this. You know what? You know what I do? I follow his lead. Let me see what he's saying. I follow his lead. You know, when I go out and we on a dinner date, when he order, if he orders a drink or he asks me what I want to drink, and I say, like, I follow his lead. I let him lead and ask the questions he do. And I follow like that instead of just going and say, oh, I'm going to get me a um, Oh, well, a naturally, I'm getting, well, naturally, I'm getting a drink automatically. But I'm just <laughs> naturally, saying. Naturally, I'm getting three drinks. I'm not sitting. I but I follow to... his lead. Because even if I order a drink, he'll ask, you want another one? I mean, a respectable gentleman will. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. you if you want another one? I well, mean, yeah, I just, when I go on a first date yeah. at a dinner, I would follow you know, his lead. Like, I would just go in with that because you don't order it. dating this barber in Atlanta and I knew he was younger and he was broke and it was like a first Bye. time or whatever I know I know I was wrong I was wrong give it, give it give it but, oh, that's a whole you know, other conversation what's my drink what's my drink huh oh why you did that girl I know you kidding me why you did that I said Christina can't play what drink y'all why you did that you gotta let people know it's good that's important I'm gonna get another one. Put my eyes water and I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, oh, I know, you were like, picking it up too slow. Now like, go here and tell us about the broke bubble. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Son, stop. I can't oh, get my eyes water. But I mean, you said he broke because he was a barber. Meaning he like he wasn't was broke. broke, but he wasn't like. Financially stable. He was, how yeah. did you know that? Yeah, because he asked me to go to drinks at, for Hooters. And like, oh, oh damn, I don't want to go back. Man, you know a rich man who just riding 
cuz, girl, he was broke. And it was cool because he was young. Like, he's building. Like, now he have his own shop and stuff like that. So I'm not saying nothing is wrong with dating a broke man. So, you know, I was respectable when I was mindful, I'm going to say, when we were going out, you know, on dates and stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't order three drinks like I normally would. I wait for him to say, do I want a second one? Because I didn't want to, you know, I'm just more considerate for people. I don't care who it is. If I'm dating you, I must like you. And so I am going to be very considerate. But I know when I'm dating a certain type of man, oh, I can have four or five martinis with no problem. I'm going to tell you now, I'm married. My husband knows we go somewhere, um, I'm getting about four or five drinks. Okay, but that's your husband. That's your you husband. You have been that's married too. Right. Hey, talk you about if you on a date, dog, if you on a date, so it's a... Well, that's what I'm saying. Because it might not have to be second. No, what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. So if I was on a date, it's a, I'm on a drink limit. Hey, you heard what I'm saying. Is that what I'm You always say, me, me, me. You and your husband are one. That's y'all money. No, but no, what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, so when I'm on a date... No, just no. What I'm saying is, when we went on a date, do that mean I'm only able to get one drink? Like I can't. Like if I'm on a date with somebody, I'm not able to get three to four I'm drinks. I'm saying you can't use it your marriage. You no, I'm, I was just saying if I go oh. with my husband. But I'm saying no, if I was on a date, I would expect to be able if to do the, the same. First day, it definitely depends. It That's what I'm asking. Can, can I get, get three or four drinks? It it depends depends on the the day. Day. Is that different on the date? I wouldn't ask. I would, you know. I would follow his lead. I would follow his. Because me personally, even if I'm not married, we out. I'm gonna be like, oh, can I get another drink? And then this is what my wrong thing would be later. She's gonna be like, I'll pay for it. I got the next round. You don't know. I would. No, you Now, is that wrong? So if you are on a date, now is that wrong if you are on a date and he get the first round and you know you want another drink, like, oh, I can get the next round? Do you do that? Now, you can do that. But you kind of take his position. Cause you don't know at the end of the day if you he's gonna pay or not. Position. He Let might slide you the check. You. Look at the check and slide you the check. Cause you, you don't just know never what know, huh? Cause I heard. Day. I heard my client. So one of my clients said nigga slid her the check and was like, uh. So that's because you know what? Order like she probably paid. ordered a whole lot of crazy stuff, and he was like, oh no, yeah. you gonna pay for your stuff. Order like. But that's why you got to know who you're dealing with. I'm not going on no date to Applebee's. Are we going to Applebee's? If I have a limit, I don't know. Take me somewhere. My limit is. Good at me.
can. That's but I'm private. Yeah. Like I don't like to tell That's my fine. stuff. So if I yeah, but they're yeah. new, so you don't. You're not obligated. You gotta That's catch their vibe first. Yeah, and I once you feel, once you get comfortable with that person, and say, well, then you can be like, oh, I feel yeah, like she has three kids confiding in him about this. So should you be comfortable enough with that person before you go on a date with him? No, because I'm trying to get comfortable with you by dating. So then that feels weird to me if I don't know, like, okay, if I, I just know your name and I'm going out on a date, so if, do he should come pick you up or should I meet? Like, you know, should you For meet? me, I meet at the location. Like, okay. if we're going to Rue Chris or something like that, okay, I'll meet you there. Okay. Uh, if we're going whatever, like. Hey, hint, hint, did y'all hear? Huh? You heard Rue Chris. You can say it anyway. Well, no, but I say Rue Chris <laughs> because when I'm, you know, in New Orleans, me and my girls, we go have happy hours mm-hmm. at Rue Chris. Heck, what we do, we'll do Oliver and Twister sometimes or something like that. And you know, my favorite restaurant here is Louis M. Lanyard, so that's the type of restaurant that I will go to. Of course, I'm going to be able to take myself there. Yeah, before you ask somebody else, right? Right, yeah. each other and he was just like all right you want to do something else you want to go to the casino and i'm like cool i'm thinking harris right next door and he was like well let me call the driver we could go to biloxi and go out to the the bank on the beach it was cute so he called the driver it was like nine o'clock and it was like you know a black truck came picked us up brought us out to biloxi gave me like money to play the slots because of course i don't gamble or anything and like it was just a really nice time and that's cute we sat on the beach for a while while the sun rose and the driver was killed at the whole time. And that was a noise. dream day. That, that was, that was a good day, girl. Yeah, it really was. It was his day. Oh, she said it was just wasn't the one. <laughs> right, it exactly. just wasn't the one. What about you, Eve? All right. This is this is the so, college girl experience. <laughs> you know, this little dude, he took me to um. Oh, he took me. Little dude. He took me to Red Lobster. <laughs> It was really nice because I got dressed and everything. But I knew him beforehand. I knew him from high school. So That's cute. I yeah, went, um, school. yeah. Oh, uh-huh. But I already knew him from high school and I was pretty comfortable with him. So he did pick me up from my house. He met my parents first because it was, it was in high school. You heard oh. that? You heard that? That's <laughs> a young woman. Yeah, he picked me up from my parents. And met her parents. Uh, and met my parents, which I thought was very respectful. Yeah. For him to do and just introduce himself in front of my mom and my dad. And we went out to eat. He paid everything. It was really nice. I liked it. What y'all did after? He took you home? He, baby, he took me home. My mama don't play that in high school, baby. <laughs> oh, he took you to Real Lobster in high school, girl? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. cute. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she got baby. Okay. So if you're in college, you know you got to do better. How do, y'all, it up, sis. how do y'all feel about um, paying for a date? I'm not necessarily talking about the first date. Um, I, don't, just I, I, I wasn't uh, taking a man out. Places 
Yeah, it. it and let me tell you, you I've got to that. Out. You got to that. I used out. to be totally against no, that. Yeah. I used to think a man should do everything to court a woman. I came from a two parent house, okay? I had a fuck. They always want to look, but that's a hater look. That. <laughs> that's a hater look. So I had morals of what a man's supposed to treat a yeah. woman. So I always thought, because my dad always did what he had to do for his family. I don't care how much work my mama made, how much money she made, and how much she worked. He always had to have his own. So he, you know, to me, when I growing up, a man was supposed it's to true. always do that. But now these days, and bring around these these ladies, these lovely ladies, <laughs> being around these lovely ladies, you, see, I, I, I feel different. Y'all. I would go and friend. pay for a so date after we have been on a couple or you so know whatever. I, I will pay for a date. I would buy a gift. I didn't even like um, to buy gifts for guys because I just didn't think I don't mind. Proper. My friends call me manly all the time. But I don't mind. She's a and, <laughs> and, and like she said, so it's a man thing. You no, agree? No, no, because no, y'all call me manly. I don't mind because it's just not that, that big of a deal. Like, I'm in a position where I can, so... At the same time, I think it's a step to show you that I'm ready, and or that I'm appreciate a, you. that I'm appreciate. Like yeah, I'm not, I'm not with you for the game for me. Like I can do this on my own, so I don't want you to think that this is something that I need from you. Like you could do it one time. I'm not saying I'm paying for them all the time, but every now and then, if you're good to me, you treat me right, and every, I don't mind. But you want to go out? Let me. You know what I'm saying? Spend a little coin on you or whatever. I did. I, it took, it well, and I used to be like time. that for the for the longest too. And then I didn't have. I grew up not having a daddy in a household. <laughs> I'm sorry, we all got laughing. with shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, they, but they gave me side looks. And I said I grew up proper. Anyway, so I didn't oh. have a man to teach me like how I'm <laughs> supposed to be you. treated. But I was fortunate enough to date a man who always told me like, okay, Christina, this is how you're supposed to be treated. This is the bar right here. And I used to be like, dang, that's kind of high, but I was younger. So when I got older, I was able to understand more. But I used to be like, oh, a man's supposed to do this. A man's supposed to do that, this, that, and the third. But as I started to learn more and have better experiences, I would appreciate the things that some men would do. So I'll be like, oh, let me buy you something or let me take you out you know or let me buy you a drink or like if we didn't went on a couple of dates i remember one time i the guy his favorite drink was ciroc or something like that so i gave him um you know like a big old bottle of ciroc like i had it in a little gift bag or whatever just a nice presentation and he just thought it was everything but now i feel like i want to treat my man good whoever it may be but I mean, you know, I guess. I feel I like if he asks you, yeah, you know, back in the, yeah, back in the no, day, if he asks me, that's if a different story. I'm not you, going. That's a problem. <laughs> but if so he you just want to, you know, no, no, you if don't he just want to treat, like your I'm man. obligated to do so. Okay. Right. No. See, I don't want to feel like I'm obligated. Me, you cannot ask. If you date the right to one, young woman and you good to it's it's gonna automatically be done. She gonna it would be so lovely. So. Check out this. If any men, because we go live, to hear what y'all think is a good date with a woman. Like, how you feel about women when you go on a date? You know what I'm saying? Which I know y'all probably going to be like, she don't need to eat that much. Yeah. <laughs> Spend all my coin. Why well, I got to open the door for you? Some people might think they can do open the door. Some men don't understand why they need it. You well, know what? It's not the door. Guess what? <laughs> a man will open the restaurant door. But the most door that they don't really open now is, is the car door. The car door, yeah. yeah. Well, well, you know, what's his name? Yeah. He open the car door, like, every time he opened the car door for me. Every time. Like, it's just, it don't be on no stuff like, oh, I'm waiting for it. Excuse it's me. It just be natural. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we ain't gonna do it. No, we don't want to know his okay. name. Okay. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> oh, Look, but yeah, cool. I went out on a date cool. with a guy and... We parked like right in front of the restaurant, and when we, when I, when he came around and opened my door, the guys that was actually standing in front of the restaurant, like they gave him so many props, like man, you are such a gentleman. They was like, bro, we thought sugary was dead. They was older guys, but you know they, they gave him all this praise, and I was like, is that? It's not normal. That's it's not normal. Younger generation. I mean, because he opened her. my door, and he took don't. my hand and that's actually that's helped me out the car. My client, like, you know, husband, she just got her hair done. And everything. Not only did he come to the door with the umbrella, he walked her to her side of the door, put her in the car, and everything. Like, no, they they don't. It's not that it's dead. They just don't do it anymore. Because like, we don't demand it anymore. We don't. Because I've like, been on days where I got open my door. Well, you know, I was what? Oh, yeah. 
I, you know what? I, I hear a lot of men say, like my homeboys and everything, they'll be like, if you hold a door open for a woman, she'll be looking at you like, I'm good. And you I know, like, like, I don't like, know, want some more, like, real. Like, like, I didn't even, it it wasn't us. a big deal to me until I started being around Christina because she, she made me do it for her. <laughs> so it, it just made me be like, okay, so now when I go out, my husband does it. And my son, I make my son do it. If we go on mother daughter, mother son dates, I make him open the door because now it's like, because at, at first it wasn't like it was meant. I just walk up to the door and open. I oh, open that, up just by you. naturally. But so that's how I teach saying, myself yeah. too. Like I don't touch a door with him. Yeah. So ladies, what we're saying is you have to bring it back. You have to. That's we need to bring shit. Right. Yeah. You. We have to bring it back. For, and that don't mean we sedity men. That don't mean we asking for too much. And because I still hit the pussy bottle in the car before you come around and help. Oh my. Help me out. I would hit the Hennessy that. out the bottle. When not you come around right. here. That's a different date. Yeah. <laughs> totally different time. Oh, it's not the first date, but I hit the, I'm, we talking about it. No, you know, just talking date. in general. Yeah, we just talking in general. You hit the bottle on the second date? No. <laughs> I'm just talking in general. Just because I want you to open my door and help me out of your car, it doesn't mean, and you heard me say your car, it doesn't mean, <laughs> okay? That I'm sedated. I will still Yo. hit the Hennessy out the bottle. I can be sedated and call me what you want. It is what it is. You knew what I was potentially yeah. could And that's and the, the problem. We just talking to we me. just put a name on it. Right. Because that doesn't make her sedated because she wants respect. Yeah. Yeah. But we just throw it. Y'all, But if y'all on a date night, not just for you, if he's picking you up for the house, this would be a nice drink it to is. have waiting it for is. him while you get. When I tell you this is my fourth one, girl, this is good. And it's with Maker's Mark. That's not a drink that's normal that everybody just has at the house, but it's inexpensive, ladies, and it's not harsh. I drink shots of Maker Mark. Maker's Mark. <laughs> Say it again. Uh-huh. And I'm good because I'm good. I like Maker's Mark because my husband, he tastes it and he drinks it with his cigars. So is it okay for him to pick you up in an Uber? Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, yeah. XL. Or what's after XL? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to do all that. Like, I don't know. You, you don't have to be no You pick me up on the Uber. I yes. think you thinking we about to get that twisted. Nah. Because you saw the movie Equalizer, the- what they did to that girl when they put her in the Uber. I didn't see that. You didn't see the movie <laughs> They put her up in that dead. They had everybody that had their turn with it. They just slid her right on in the Uber. Yeah. Oh. See, Uber is a dangerous little thing. I don't know. Too, I'm going to tell you, is it okay? Home yeah. We're trying to gain great Is it really an Uber? I get in there, you ain't got no donuts. It's your friend, because guess what? One time, a uh, man tried to get me in an Airbnb. He was like, oh, you know, you, you should try Buckhead out this area. You know, I'll get you an Airbnb to see how you like it and the feel of it. You know, how you like the area. He was like, you can stay for the weekend. So the man let me in. Come to find out, girl, they was friends. Yep. Great. Okay. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> no. What? Uber, Uber X. Are they, they really doing that? Do they come to you? Yeah, yeah, they have the car for you. Maybe that's the car for Yeah, pool. like I'll send you an Uber. Yeah. I've never had it before, but I could imagine in bigger cities. Yeah. yeah. That thing you know, you're trying to get me twisted. That's how I would think it. Like, I can't drive. Or maybe he doesn't have a car. Oh, well, we don't need to date. <laughs> what? Like, in some cities, well, you just never well, try to do that. Now you don't want to. Oh, and then oh. this is the sad thing: as women, you don't want to sound like a gold digger. But at the same time, is it wrong for having standards? standards? No, you Thank have you standards, so- and some people yeah. need them, and some people don't. It's okay. not for everybody. Because I ain't dating without a phone. Yeah, so a, a standard. Because men have standard on women. They sure Some do. like them with big butts. Some like them with real hair. Some like them with fake hair. Some like them with new hips. <laughs> Light skin, skin, dark skin. Dark skin, so it's a preference. So, and I feel like a lot of times women get like, oh, she a gold digger because she wants you to take an extra step of just showing me that I'm appreciated. Or, or showing me what I'm used to. Yeah, or showing me what I'm used to. If I'm used to certain things, I'm worthy of it. It ain't even about I'm worthy. That's just you what I'm are. used to. Like, I am worthy of it, but if Some I'm used, used to do it, it, but that don't mean they're not worthy, worthy of, of it. it. Yeah. Right. you might have been dating bums all right. your life. Right. But that right. don't mean you're not used to some Yeah, like they talk about Sierra. Like the, oh, this fake love is not real. Yeah, Sierra. To me, y'all, okay. Everybody need a wrestle. If that was that's, 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 that's
niggas. Niggas and men are two totally different people. Yeah. Niggas say stuff like that. Well, oh, we can, we can, I think we can say that. We can say that. Yeah, we can say that. We can say niggas. Negros. Negros, niggas. We can say that because we ain't made it to We TV yet. And so we, we can say that because it's our world. You see our skin color, it's our world. We can use that as much as we want to use. No, that was a little bit. You always got to want to take off. Hey, with your throat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, for we, we, we were talking about you. No, but what we do is we want to be comfortable to everybody. We are comfortable to everybody. We're not saying, oh, what we did. I said niggas, but I didn't say, oh, what we did. You might have said it if you was going to go with us. Because you feel obligated that you can say that, right? No, I'm no, not about to say that on here, though. But see, this is how they going to see I'm drunk. us. Well, that's her, I can't do it, but in this conversation, I'm drunk. Oh, yeah, because she got to go to work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be looking at this. I'm going to be at the cashier thing like this. Girl. They ain't doing nothing but coming by a day after. <laughs> <laughs> From their date night. You right. From their date night. Okay, hello. <laughs> you know it all too well, don't you? <laughs> See, she ain't got the date night. Y'all have, because y'all have a lot of date nights, girl. Y'all be dating y'all ass. But that's another thing. Date night is just not for the singles, ladies. When you're married, you need date night, ladies. Marriage cannot survive without date nights. Because nobody can say they like their husband all the time. (laughs) Date night helps you like your husband again. That's like, true. It keeps, it, it. it keeps the intimacy. I know I love my husband. <laughs> 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 yeah, I Speaking into existence, friend. Speaking into existence. I know you kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I love but it, it does. Yeah. It helps. It, it, it keeps the intimacy between you and it's a time for y'all two to share. Because I'm going on date night right after we finish this. Today's my anniversary. Today's my anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Barely made it, but we keep it going. Let me do the Sierra. What's the song? Level up. Level up, level up, level up. That's the second chord. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying. Yeah, this is all the time. Y'all can stuff on the lips. Let me see here. Why do you put this? Let's see the finishing look of beautiful E with that orange cute. Oh, look at that red lip. Oh, it's, let me see. E, cause that's E was like, me. Let me see, girl. Look at that swirl. Okay, it's cute. Now, this red lip is just everything. And this is a great look for date night because it's you subtle and it's easy on the eyes. You because when me? a man is with you, sitting across from a table, like he just wants something that's soft on his eyes so where he can stare in your eyes and it's and not too much. Screams. Sexy and sultry, and it's like, oh, and so she had some real big full lips or whatever. So, of course, we had to play those up because those are in. So, yeah, just something nice and cute and natural, but it still pops and it still yeah, makes so you know somebody be like, oh. <laughs> This is the finger extensions deep wave hair. Now, I will put the before picture up where we had it where she was wavy. But right now, I just did a quick straight now so Christina can do her makeup. I'm also using, hey friend, Save the Edges. This is her moisture seal. Usually, I don't like to use all because all could be really heavy for weed. But Save the Edges moisture seal is really not heavy and it smells so good, ladies. You know how sometimes your weave can give you a, a certain kind of, after using the curling iron too much, Cause you're supposed to clean your curling irons. I don't know if people tell you that you are supposed to clean your curling irons. Cause it could sometimes get that sticky burnt residue smell, which goes onto your hair. But with this, this is Keisha. You just do a little squirt, just a little poom baby. And we just gonna put it throughout our hair. Girl, that face. She's not worried about that. It's 6.30, you feel me? If y'all know E, E was featured in my E about to be featured in the shop. Okay. She be about to have a full time job here. <laughs> I'm about to be featured in unemployment. <laughs> if I uh, get yeah. gotcha, she got a job. My behind at work. Okay. E. I told you to remind you. You know, I get in it. Uh huh, Mama. I told him. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what she is. We get E, but E about to go to work looking like she going on a date. That's what they gonna cool. be mad at. They're gonna be real upset. They made us fire me. Shout out of it, cause I ain't changing nothing. I'm gonna be like this. Hello, hello, kid. <sighs> I'm here. So is it? Um, do you kiss on the first date, or do you have? 
Girl, you have sex in your Oh, I take kiss on a person. <laughs> I, I, I'm a spirit feeling person. Yeah. My spirit has it, to tell. It goes with now. the vibe. So you can touch my lips. My spirit has to be It goes like, with yeah. the vibe. You know. It's but I definitely don't have sex on the first date. Girl, you know how many people got married with having sex on the first date? I, I just. Well, I mean, just, I don't know. It's just I not just for don't. everybody. It's not, but. I'm I just don't, because I don't want to. Well, have... she probably don't have sex on the first date because, oh, well. I'm and then on top of that, that's college That's college for you right there. Because right. Because yeah, they're going to think, you know, yeah. they're going to. It depends the on the type of thing person you are and what where you're at in life. For me, I don't have sex on the first date. I don't feel. Me. I have to have some type of connection or emotional what attachment. What is that connection? Yeah. Was nah, so nah, nah, nah. You to, never had a date where the connection no. was really good on the first date. Well, I wanted to have sex. No, absolutely not. I'm giving her a look too, Crystal. Like you no, might didn't I, do I, it. I don't, but think, you might, I don't listen, know. Listen, for me, it's listen. Not, no, you no. might didn't do it, but if no, you have you no, never wanted to, like no, I don't care how good. But he everybody is, how is different. It's not that. I'm talking about like no. Chemistry. She no, said no. I she did. I didn't say I, I did. You were two totally different every, people. Yeah, though. that don't mean everybody did. Like, I can say I have, and I married him. Right. So, Everybody's different. Yeah, it just depends. I'm an emotional lover. For a college person, you can't do it. I can't do it, especially with yeah. the guys that age yeah. and things like that. Not no. at all. No. And it goes with the age group too. And really, to be and honest, shouldn't Boy, nobody no. kind of in this day and age should be doing want it on to. the first date. Yeah. The first date should be to. Well, not I like it. They always don't. So y'all, as y'all can see, I just raised this one up just to give her a little. Chopping is in the back. I love a white girl haircut. I like a feather. I do. No, I don't. <laughs> but for the girls that's sexy, sexy in this, I love a, a white girl choppy look. Just to give it, as you can see. Oh, it's, it's so pretty though. They gonna say you been so long. They gonna say you been so long. You know what? It's my cool manager. So she's gonna be like, wait. Are you gonna go straight there? Girl, but you will be ready for a day with your little. I don't know. I just know. Freddie Jackson, that was the fourth time. That was the fourth time. And as you can see, ladies, I love the Brazilian. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't here. Deep wave because it has such a more and more. I told you. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. See, she said I've been talking about standards. But you get ready to, you know, sweetheart. No, that's just let me tell you. Like when I get to the club, so no. Pretty, that's pretty. E, are you dating now, E? No ma'am. Okay, no, ma so Pam. you see this beautiful woman with this banger bundles and that on cue on her face? She's single, guys. Check. Single and ready to mingle. Check. I ain't single no more. <laughs> Let me get the thing. <laughs> That's a good thing, friend. I'm so proud I'm of you. Like, I'm just <laughs> I gave E just a sexy bob. Now, the good thing about this hair is if E wants to wet it, she could go back wavy. But I love a... Brazilian deep wave hair because it gives a coarser, more fuller look, more sexy. You see the hike up. So we know that on date night, we don't need Get more than two of them. Because if you do, you're going to you be coming need home. Two. Just one. Get that drink on date Sit night. Sit on it while you're getting ready. Because you might tell y'all something. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Don't listen to Give them something. It's choppy. Gives that sexiness. Shake Naturalness. So pretty. So he's not even gonna know if that's your hair or not, which is also a Cause plus. he show him, lean down, show him your closure for us, as you can see. What closure? <laughs> what closure? She yeah. looks good. So, at the end of date night with, ladies love the glam, this is E with the banger bundles, deep wave hair. You can purchase this at Coco Styles Hair Studio or online at CocoStyles.com. And it could go straight and everything. So you can also check us out, ladies. We will be doing our next challenge where we will be giving you the chance to be our model in this chair. Yes. And you can follow me at CocoStyles.com. At Coco Styles on Instagram and 
on cue makeup o n c u e makeup and making it dirty with Dionysia d i o n i c i a and catch us because we coming back live y'all with our next topic so for date night enjoy the date night drink and our date night look Shut up. thank you ladies <laughs> I didn't have See you guys next time. <laughs>